everyone, it's Zadira and Steffi Rabbitheart. Hi guys, I can't wave, I have a fish. <laughs> yes, and the reason <laughs> Steffi has a fish is we are on the Fort oh. map and we are taming an otter. Yes. We are so excited, we found a high level otter and it's blue. Yes, and as you know, um, it's very cold here mm -hmm. on the map. Mm -hmm. And so we feel like we needed otters yes. to help us and protect us. Give us a little bit of warmth. Yeah. So we did find a beautiful otter. I have a fish here. I'm going to drop it in. I'm going to give it to Zadira. Okay. Um, how do I release? Press E. <laughs> Press E. And then I okay. can drag and body. And then drag it. And she's going to go down. And there's actually four otters right down here, here in this pond. Now, where, where, there's a blue and one. Here he is. Once we're this once we get this team, we'll show you the map. But no, oh my gosh, guys! Finish. Okay, one more. This is maybe. such a beautiful area. Yes. Oh, I want man. to build a castle here so bad. As you saw, there are tons and tons of pink trees. And there are and pearls. There are pearls down in this lake, but which no more fish. Oh my! Here I'm bringing a fish. And may wing. Oh, you have a fish. Okay. I have a fish. I'm bringing it to the rock. And may wings. There are may wings here of all things. Yeah, we were so excited because, as you know, may wings lay eggs that you can use for basically any kibble. So, we have immersive taming on our. Um, server but if you are on a server that you have normal taming you could come here and get well why can't i release this fish <laughs> you could come here and you could actually tame you some may wings to get those eggs for taming yeah oops i think you dropped the fish oh it's I over here goodness i can't seem they must be slimy ew <laughs> Let's go down this way. Seems like if I go down that way, it seems like okay, here he is. Oh, it's so such a pretty otter. Feed fish. No. And he's sitting so still. That's unusual for otters. That's what I think is really interesting. Oh goodness. Okay, here we go. Feed fish. Well. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it's what still hot. Okay. okay. Oh my goodness. We will catch another fish and bring you right back. Okay, we have a couple of more fish. This should do it. It's so funny that these otters are just staying in this one spot. I just yeah. think that's really very difficult. Oh, it tamed it. Yay! Okay, there's a 200 over here. I think I'm going to oh. quickly tame this one. I was waiting. I was going to wait for a 300. Oh, my but gosh. It's so cute. Okay. Yes, we have our animals, our dinos on our server, all, uh, do level up, or they tame, what do you call it? The Their top level is 300. So, we try, We say we can't tame anything unless it's over 200. Yeah, we have a, we have a, a rule for us, for us, not the, the server, the, just for us. Just for us, <laughs> right, no, you, no, if you play on the server, you don't have to do that. Let me show you the little otter. My goodness, it's so cute. <gasps> Let's get down. Oh, he's got a little green under his. Let's take off the back. Oh, my gosh. Is that not the cutest thing ever? That is just so adorable. We have to take a screenshot. My goodness. Now we're going to have to come up with a really good name for you. But let's put the backspace on. And scarf. Let's... Scarf. <laughs> Uh, let's look at its settings. So it level. Oh my goodness! It tamed out at four sixteen. My goodness! But it still only has five hundred in health. And then look at its stem. Fourteen hundred in stem. Sixty five weight. But look at that melee. I mean, all of its numbers <laughs> went into melee. Wow! <laughs> oh my goodness! I need to get him some uh, fish. It is a female. It's not a him. It's a her. What oh. in the world can we name you? You're just so cute. Okay, let's go get you some fish. So we can feed you. And Steffi's taming her otter. So we'll look at it. 
Uh, as soon as we, as soon as Steffi gets hers, we'll look at her, Otter, and bring you back. I guess it's only appropriate that we are at the Otter Shrine <laughs> on the Four Deer map to get to be able to tame otters. And I wanted to show you real quickly where we actually are. If you look at the map, my little blue arrow is up there in that upper right-hand corner. So if you want to come here and look at this otter shrine and tame some otters and maywings, I, I'm so wow. amazed that there are maywings in there, but look how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh. It is this so is gorgeous. So pretty right here. So let's look at Steffi's otter. It's brown and green and yellow. Look at that. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh it my gosh. It has yellow cheeks. Yes. It's so cute. Oh my goodness sakes. So this is the Otter Shrine. And look at this. This it's, is so cool. I love oh, this. So fun. It looks like he has a gem mm -hmm. or maybe an egg. I think it's a pearl. A pearl. That makes total sense. And then all the little otters along here. Just too fun. But this is such a pretty area. And the, re the reason we even came over here is earlier today, I was over here. We need thylons in the worst way. There are so many caves here. And we feel like that we can bet do the best with thylons in most of the caves. Definitely. So I came over and killed maybe six or so thylas and so we came back over thinking they might have spawned in but they have not yet and what's so interesting too is i have not seen any thylas up in the trees they are wa always walking around on the ground so that i think that's interesting so anyway we we definitely wanted to show you this amazing spot and um, show you on the map where it was located so that you could also come and tame you some thylas or if you're in need of some maywings or thylas um, you can find them here on the map no, I, and we I, just wanted to show you this really beautiful place yeah, I came up on my pteranodon steppy so I could show them from the air it's really pretty if this isn't one of the best places to build a base mm -hmm. golly and looks like you could build a really pretty base up here where if you didn't want to build right down uh, down in the otter area you could build right here oh yeah definitely it. um, and it's really close to the green obelisk uh -huh. just so yes. you know yes the green obelisk is let's see they're right there right through the trees it's just right there Let's go over there real quick, Steph, and we'll show okay. him. It's so, it's so neat how he, how Nikita's did his obelisk on the map. Let's go over here and look at it. He did like um, he surrounded each obelisk with statues of the animals. That I don't. I think it has something to do with Viking lore. Lore. Mm -hmm. I think so too. Yeah. They kind of have a green tint to them because of the light. But look at this. Isn't this awesome? Just amazing. And they're That's around kind of every awesome. obelisk. And, of course, the mm -hmm. obelisks look different as well. Yes. Uh, they're not the typical metal. Yeah, let's get out here and we'll show you. you know, see, isn't that amazing? It looks like a stone is just like up in the air, suspended up in the air. Yeah, a real rune stone. Yeah. Um, and that's what, um, in our previous videos, we talked about um, looking for rune stones in caves. Mm -hmm. That's a rune stone. Yes, and you so have to have rune stones to enable to go to the, the realms. Let me show you this tree. I don't, well, you can't really see it through these. These trees are very, very thick. Um, but there's a ginormous tree over here. I'll show it to you. And I, the one, I think one of the realms is up there. I've not been to the realms yet. Um, We're so excited yeah. to explore and to do. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Isn't that something? Wow. So beautiful. Wait. But you need rune stones in order to access the portals that take you to the realms. And in order to get rune stones, you have to go in the caves. Um, the rune stones are in chests 
that are in the caves. So we have to get thylas to go in the caves. <laughs> or bears. We we really like bears as well. I think, I don't know. The, from what I understand, from what I've read, we're going to need something that yeah. can climb and, walls and jump. And jump, yeah. Mm. And those are two things that thylas can definitely yes. do. Yes. So we need high-level thylas because these the caves are full of danger. Okay, so Steffi saw a 280 dire bear over here. Show yes. Me, okay. Show me where that is. And, and if nothing else, we can use bears for some of the caves. And uh, let's see. Where is this? It's right over here. Um, it is, yes, it's a 280 female. Ooh. And she's brown, but she has a purple, a dark purple color on her back. Um, see. she's right here below us. Um, right there. Wow, that snow You're is... You're almost on top of her. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, she's just brown. So should I we don't mind it? it? I really would like... Oh, it's a good smoky, the bear. Yeah, and, it, and she does have a purple on her back okay. i don't i don't necessarily need this wouldn't be a breeder but well it might be i don't know yeah. um but i definitely Let, want a land stats. So animal. the stats are um uh, i'm looking at a s rabbit heart let's move over here Woo! <laughs> i have good stats just saying <laughs> okay so 29 for the hell not great third yeah 38 for stam is good bears don't but really need a lot of look stam. but look 42 in food. Look at the melee. 43. 43. Yeah, it's... She's not But its highest greatest. level is in speed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I want one with a little more health. Yeah, she's not For a the 280. greatest. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she, she can do some... You have to put all the points in health to get her healthy enough to use her melee. Yeah. Well, darn. Okay, so the search is on, right? Search is on. Dire bears and thylas. Yep. All right. And when we find something, we'll bring you right back, guys. The whole thing has changed. <laughs> All our plans out the, out the what? What do you call it? Out the window. Out the window because, look, we, guys. We could not find any thylas and we could not find any bears that were of any use. But we did. <gasps> oh, you scared me. Oh, so Steph sorry. Steph killing the lows because we're going to... Tame an owl over here. Two ninety R guys. That's yeah, two ninety R. So we have the settings on our map. Let's try. To, oh, real quick. Let me. I need to put the bait. We're gonna try to feed it with prime meat bait, and you can throw it out. Oh, I was hoping to hurry and do it while it was landed. But let's see here. If I throw it out right there. Without aggroing it. Did he get it? Yes. He got it, guys. Yes. Intrigued by your generosity, this could be the start of a lasting friendship. He no longer re perceives our tribe as a threat. So he won't attack us now. Oh, yay. I love this mod, guys. This is called immersive taming. Oh, it's a beauty. Wow. Okay, so where'd he go? Can you see? Uh uh. But they'll come back. Yeah, they, they that, always come usually back. Usually, after that first eat, they fly kind of far. There, there he is. Or she. I think it's a she. She's got green. She's kind of an odd, odd color, color combination. We do have colored, oh dino, randomly colored dinos. Yeah. Okay, he likes your well. tribe even more. It can now be fed hand bait. Yay! He grows more curious of your tribe's kind nature. It may start following you around. I love it. Oh my gosh. And we can pet it. That's the best part. They enjoy especially being the, pet. Especially the cute animals. Yes, they just look at you. Okay, so next it may need care. Let's see. Now, like I say, we're using the prime meat bait. You can use regular meat. I, it's, it's like they disappear. For, oh, there. There it is. Wow, Steffi. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. 
much that is awesome. So it looks like it's got some tan on it and yes. some green. Yeah. Some minty green. <laughs> minty green. Okay, feed raw prime meat. Ooh, appreciate your tribe's kindness. Yes. Is getting attached to your tribe. Now it will protect us in battle. So guys, the stats on this thing. So let's 61 it. points in health. Care for. Feels Be nurtured and cared for. Oh, it looked Aww. like it was giving me... Uh, nose kisses. That's fun. <laughs> that is. 54 points in stam. Wow. 52 points in weight. Mm -hmm. And 44 in melee. But with 61 points in health, we can definitely work on that melee. Oh, yeah. So, now it wants one more feed what? by hand. Oops. It's going to leave. Oh, one fast enough. It's okay. It'll come It'll back, come back. That's one thing, boy, when we first started using immersive taming, we, we were always like, man, it's leaving, but they always, the birds always come back. See? Yeah. Here she comes. Oh. The hand, care for. And you can see the taming uh, efficiency. Feed raw meat. She gave, she you gave a us a present. Yes. yes, we accept. We accept. I love how they do. She gave us snow pellets. No way. Oh my gosh. Thank now we have to get us a gotcha. Oh my gosh. This For sure. is awesome. Wow. I am Her colors so are really excited. odd. Excited. <laughs> yes, they are. But you know what? That's okay for this high of a level. She did tame out at 435. Oh, yes, let's look at her stats. Oh, oh my gosh, you're going to die. Gosh. 6,000 in health to start. 97 points in health. Wow. 89 in stam. 3,000 points to start out with. Oh, Yeah, her lowest gosh. points are in oxygen and food, which is fantastic. Perfect, yeah. And 88 in weight and 88 in melee. Oh. That is this just is an nuts. awesome owl. Yes. That, here, I'll give her some food. Or are we going to put her in a cryopod real quick? Oh, yeah, okay. I think to go home since we don't have a saddle. We certainly never knew that we were going to tame a snow owl, Steffi. I know. You know, the best, <laughs> she's pushing you, the best <laughs> laid plans in art don't ever make plans in art. Yes. That's like the number one rule besides <laughs> having fun, right? Absolutely. All right, guys, we do appreciate each and every one of you very, very much. Thank you so much for watching and all the information about our server is down below. Bye for now. Bye.